Hi everyone, in this uh, lecture, we will be going through two very important reactions of phenols. The first one is Leibomans nitroso reaction, which is also known as Leibomans test. And the second is your coupling reactions that is given by phenols, right? And these two reactions can also be used as a way to distinguish between alcohols and phenols, because these two reactions are only given by your phenols, not by alcohols, right? Alcohols do not respond to these tests, right? So the first reaction that we would be looking at is your Leibomans nitroso reaction. We also call it as Leibomans test, right? In this, what we generally do is, what we do is that we take phenol and phenol is warmed with a mixture of sodium nitrite and concentrated sulfuric acid, right? When you treat phenol or warm phenol with concentrated sulfuric acid and sodium nitrite, you get a blue or green color, right? And when it is diluted with water, this blue or green color will turn into red, right? And when you add sodium hydroxide to it, the color again turns into deep blue, right? So here it's very simple. You take phenol, right? Phenol when treated with sodium nitrite plus concentrated sulfuric acid, right? It will give you a deep blue, right? A characteristic, say a characteristic We'll look into the reaction as well, a characteristic blue or green color, right? Now, when you dilute it with water, that is when you add water to it, the color changes to deep red, right? The color becomes red, color becomes red. Now, if you add sodium hydroxide to it, Right. The color again changes into deep blue. Right. This is how it goes. So basically you take phenol, warm it with sodium nitrite and concentrated sulfuric acid. Right. You get a deep blue or a green color. Right. Maybe possibly due to the formation of a compound that we will see now in a minute. When you add water to it, this deep blue or green color will change into red. And when you add sodium hydroxide to it, right, the color, this is basically an excess of sodium hydroxide. When you add sodium hydroxide to it, the color again changes into deep blue color, right? Now let's look into the reaction that takes place and due to, and the compounds due to which the, this color changing is taking, taking place, right? And after this, we'll look into the coupling reaction. So you take phenol, right you warm when you warm phenol with sodium nitrite and concentrated sulfuric acid basically hno2 gets formed right so here ho no right is formed from your sodium nitrite plus sulfuric acid right so from here a molecule of water would be eliminated and a nitroso group would be introduced at the para position like this right nitroso group would be introduced at the para position no no group so the name of this compound would be p nitrosophenol P nitroso phenol, right? Which is in your, this hydrogen would be mobile, right? So this is an equilibrium with quinone type of compound. When this hydrogen will move here, this compound will get formed, right? Here you have NO, so H will move, H will move here. So what it will form is, you will get a double bond here, NOH. These are oxymes, NOH are oxymes. 
So we name this compound as quinone monoxime. Quinone, when you have double bond, we know this is, these are quinones. So you have NOH, this is your oxime. So name of this compound would be quinone monoxime. Right? Now this quinone monoxime will react further will react further with phenol right it will react with it will react with phenol like this which you have hydrogen here so this kind of an elimination will take place elimination of water in the presence of sulfuric acid this reaction is taking place a water molecule would be removed this one that i highlighted right it will form compound which is your which gives this blue or green color, this one that we got here, right? So this color is due to this compound that I'm making right now. Right? So you can see it over here, just a water molecule would be removed. You have a monoxide group which we change into to HSO4. This HSO4 has came from the sulfuric acid. Right? So this compound, this compound is named as endophenol hydrogen sulfate. This is your endophenol. hydrogen sulfate right that gives blue or green color if the blue or green color is due to this compound endophenol monosulfate right now as we said that when you dilute it with water it gives you red color now let's see what this red color is due to right now you add water to it right basically this is dilution step dilution with water so when you dilute it with water this will change into endophenol endophenol hydrogen sulfate will change into endophenol which is red in color that is why the color changes into red right This is how. So it is this endophenol, endophenol, which is red in color. Now, the last step when we treat it with sodium hydroxide, the color changes to deep blue again. Now, let's see what compound will get formed when you treat this compound. This endophenol will react with sodium hydroxide. It will, phenol, it will form a sodium salt of this endophenol, which is blue in color, right? That's why you get blue color when you add sodium hydroxide to it. So basically, this is the compound that gives you the blue color. It is sodium salt of endophenol. Notice this sodium plus this is a salt. Right? So this is your you write it as sodium salt of endophenol. 
which has a deep blue color right now you can just let's again quickly look at the reaction we said that this is a li the Leibniz test right which is given by phenols and this test can be used to distinguish between phenols and alcohols right so in this you treat or you warm phenol with sodium nitrite and concentrated sulfuric acid right basically it forms these two reacts and form nitrous acid so we are treating phenol with nitrous acid right uh, when you treat it with sodium nitrite and concentrated sulfuric acid it will result into the formation of deep green, blue or green color right you will get a blue or green color which is due to if you look at this phenol when treated with nitrous acid it will form first it will form this para nitrosophenol which is in equilibrium with quinone monoxime now when this quinone monoxime will react with the molecule of phenol a water molecule would be eliminated right and it forms endophenol hydrogen sulfate because this is taking place in the presence of sulfuric acid now this endophenol hydrogen sulfate is blue green in color right it is due to this compound now when this is diluted with water the color changes from blue green to red so when you dilute it with water this endophenol hydrogen sulfate will change into endophenol which is red in color right so when you add fin excess of sodium hydroxide after this it turns into deep blue color now when you add look if you look at the reaction when you add sodium hydroxide to it sodium hydroxide will react with endophenol to form sodium salt of endophenol which is deep blue in color right so this is your sodium salt which is deep blue in color. right i hope this is clear let's quickly look at the other reaction which is your all this as coupling reactions of phenol right coupling reaction is basically when you treat ice cold solution of phenol with ice cold solution of benzene disonium chloride right in an alkaline medium and temperature would be around 273 to 278 kelvins right it forms a colored dye right it gives you it gives you a yellow red or blue color right so this yellow orange color red yellow red, red i'm sorry the color that you get which is yellow orange or red is due to the formation of an azo dye so basically when you treat phenol with ice cold benzene disonium chloride right let's look right benzene donium disonium chloride as benzene disonium chloride right it gives you it gives you orange red or yellow color orange yet or yellow color this color is due to the formation of formation of an azodine right now let's look at the reaction the reaction that takes place and the colored compounds that get formed like we said that you will take ice cold solution of benzene disonium chloride these benzene disonium chloride salts we have done earlier also these are actually unstable salts so these quickly react with phenol to give you azodines right in alkaline medium temperature remaining at 273 kelvins to 278 kelvins right what it will form is an azodine right this is how it will react the molecule of hcl would be removed
you have nitrogen right then you have here oh it's easy once you know the formula how to write benzene disonium chloride you have benzene disonium right diso azo stands for nitrogen you have disonium chloride cl minus these are salts unstable salts the formula of phenol you know you just remove the molecule of hcl cl from benzene disonium chloride and hydrogen from phenol it forms this compound right this is basically ice cold right the name of this compound is para hydroxy azobenzene para at para position you can see this is you have a hydroxy group right para hydroxy azo 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 is this group right this mainly where you have this this is this stands for nitrogen right so this is your azo group just remember this azo stands for nitrogen right so you have hydroxy azobenzene right para hydroxy azobenzene these are dyes basically right and we know that dye is always colored so this is an since you have azo group so this is an azo dye right which can be which can be orange red or yellow in color so these so basically phenol couples up with benzene disonium chloride right ice cold benzene disonium chloride to give you to give you color dyes now these color dyes are azo compounds these are azo dyes right why you call these as azo dyes because you have azo group in these compounds right i hope this is clear and these two tests are mainly used to distinguish between alcohols and phenols phenols you have alcohols right so leibovitz test phenols phenols give positive leibovitz test positive leibovitz test i hope you know by now right when phenol is bonded with concentrated sulfuric acid and sodium nitrite it gives you blue green color right when it is when then it is further diluted with water it gives you red color right which is due to indophenol when you treat it further with sodium hydroxide it gives you it gives you deep blue color which is due to sodium salt of indophenol right so this test is given by phenols right alcohols gives no response to it leibovitz test doesn't take place with alcohols right no leibovitz test no leibovitz test now second is second reaction is your coupling reactions right your phenols so positive coupling reactions right where you get colored azo dyes there is no coupling reaction takes place in case of alcohols so these two reactions are used to distinguish between phenols and alcohols right so these are used as a test to distinguish between alcohols and phenols no coupling reaction so i hope this is clear right just remember in these things you you've learned certain new things like azo dyes so why do you call it as azo because you have an azo group here right so when you say the color changes just remember like this color is due to the the colored compounds these are colored compounds colored azo compounds basically colored azo dyes let's call it right 
and in the previous lecture that we have seen just remember what all compounds are getting formed due to which the color changing is taking place right here it forms the blue green color was due to endophenol hydrogen sulfate right then on dilution it forms endophenol which is red in color which on treatment with sodium hydroxide will gives you will give you sodium salt of endophenol which is again deep blue in color right i hope this is clear thanks